Hey y'all, this is Brittany here. I just want to say something about one of the comments that was on my status. Basically about how stepfathers abuse and rape kids every day. And I just want to say to that woman out there that got kids before marriage and waiting on the Lord to provide them with their future spouse. I just want to say, just make Christ your head first. Make Christ the head of your life. You know what I'm saying? Be in God first. And pray that God, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying all, oh, every day, pray for a husband every day. Now I'm just saying, like, focus on God and focus on your children. You know what I'm saying? And install them to be great men and women of God. And I also want to say that God will bless you with a spouse that will take care of you and your children and have the best interest for you and your children. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody not out to get you. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to say that you have to... You know what I'm saying? Being God so you can get the right spouse. And it's like to that woman out there that's with this dude, that's consistent. You know what I'm saying? Oh, y'all been together for this long. I might as well deal with him. I don't want to get to know nobody else. God will bless you with the right man. You know what I'm saying? But you got to be in God first. You know, you can't just be over here. Okay, I'm just okay with being stuck with what I'm in. And expect God to bless you with something. No, you got to get out of something to get into something new. You got to let go of some old stuff to get God. You know what I'm saying? In order for you to get God, you have to let go of the old things, man. And I just want to say, you know, that God gave you the signs, the wonders, everything, dreams, to let that person go because you don't want to be married to the wrong spouse, the wrong person. And I just want to say out there, there's plenty of good stepfathers out here. Every one of them ain't no rapist. Every one of them ain't no abuser. All of them are out to get you. They want the best for their kids. And they treat their kids like they're theirs. And I pray that God bless every person, you know, that you know that want to be married, that have children before marriage with that spouse that have their best interests at heart. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to say God bless y'all. And that was another point I want to talk about. And I also want to say a little bit is, you know, like, before me and James became a couple, he wasn't saved. Like, he wasn't saved. And I told him, like, we don't got no future if you're not saved. You know what I'm saying? And he was saying how you want to get saved, you want to be filled with the Holy Ghost and all that good stuff. And I told him, like, we don't got no future if you're not saved. Like, so my man's got saved. Not because of me, but because he wanted God. And you got to want a man that want God. In order for your marriage and your household to run right, you got to want a man that want God. If you got a man or a woman that don't want God, your house going to be terrible. You know what I'm saying? Like, if one of y'all say, of course, you're going to cover you cover your house. But at the same time, it's better to have two saved than one. You know what I'm saying? It's better for two to be saved than one so y'all could be one with God. And I just want to say be encouraged and wait on their right spouse. Amen. Y'all, this is.